Hello everyone, uh, I am Sarah from Fluid Expressions and today is going to be um, a much different video than any of my other ones because I am doing my very first um, geode uh, painting today and so I'm really excited. Um, I have, I'm working on a 12 by 12 uh, gallery wrapped canvas with the deep edge and um, I I'm going to be putting some crushed glass in this. Uh, the bag I have of crushed glass, it is a mixture of um, silver and clear. And that's mostly what I want, but I do want some blue ones. And so before I get started on um, the painting, I'm going to go ahead and color some of my um, crushed glass blue. That way um, it can uh, dry while I am doing the painting. <coughs> Excuse me. And so let me get this out of the way. Now, if you don't know how to color crushed glass, I'm going to show you and it's very, very easy. Um, all you need is some alcohol ink. And the kind that I'm using today is um, called Glacier. Okay, I got it at Joann's. Um, I've also seen these at Michael's, I think. No, Hobby Lobby. Maybe Michael's too. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm at Joann's a lot. Okay, so I'm going to first pour from the bag into a cup um, the approximate amount of these I think I might be using. I think I might need. So, And if I do too much and that's fine too because then I have some already colored for later. Yeah, I think that's more than enough. Okay, I don't know if you can see how much I got, but yeah. Okay, right, so put those in the cup. Um, and alcohol ink dries really, really, really fast. So, um, that is one nice thing about how I'm choosing to color these. Plus it saves you money if you do it this way, as opposed to having to buy, um, broken glass or crushed glass of like a bunch of different colors. You can just buy it in clear or silver or whatever and color it yourself. And plus you can um, do it this way. You can also mix colors and make your own colors, you know, similar to mixing paints and making your own colors that way. Um, so it's just really a smart way to do it all around, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, so um, it doesn't take a lot. I'm going to put, let's see. I'm going to start with eight drops. Now I'll do ten. Okay. And then I'm going to take a stir stick and just mix it. Mix it all in. Now make sure not to um Make make sure to get all the way to the bottom, and what I'm actually going to do to make sure that all the ones in the bottom do get colored as well and not forgotten. So I'm going to pour this into a second cup, okay? And then I'm going to add a few more drops of the alcohol ink because I also want this to be a darker blue than it is at the moment. And so adding additional alcohol ink will do that. And then I'm going to transfer to the other cup. And I'm basically going to be going back and forth like that until I get to the shade of blue that I want. 
and also until um, it's all co covered, which it's already getting there. Very close to all being the color that I want. is really pretty. Yeah, okay, so I think that that's the shade that I want. So now I'm just going to do this a couple times to make sure they're all covered, which I believe they are. Paper towel was stuck to my elbow. Try to get all of the ones out of the bottom. That's really pretty. Okay. And then after they're all colored, you'll want to, in order to let them dry, I think it's best to lay them out into a towel. kind of spread them out a little bit that way the air can get to them all pretty evenly this is gonna look so pretty so, and just like that you got some beautiful blue um, crushed glass okay so I'm gonna set that off to the side Okay. So again, this is my first time. Um, so hopefully this goes well, but I actually feel pretty confident in my ability to do this and make it look awesome because I have a couple ideas up my sleeve that I think are going to work out well. But I've had that thought before and it did not. So let's just see how it goes. If this makes it on YouTube, then that's a good sign. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna, um, we want to put a white base down first. And so I'm going to just pour a puddle in the middle. And then Force the air bubbles. And then I'm going to tilt it around. I'm probably going to need a little bit more paint than that, but that's okay. None of my colors are mixed with Botrol because I don't want um, cells in this, if I can help it. And so all my colors are mixed with um, Liquitex Pouring Medium or uh, just Liquitex Gloss Medium. So I'm going to start pouring my colors in a puddle in the middle, starting with black.
And this is um, Prussian Blue. Next I've got Silver. And to keep it from dripping where you don't want it to, you can just stick your finger underneath it. Now I've got a light blue permanent. Ooh, see, I'm getting cells. Um, this color is actually, um, it's a, it's a gel stain, um, it's called the Unicorn Spit. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. This color specifically is, uh, it's, it's actually Unicorn Spit Sparkling. It's their glittery one. This color is called, I don't know. Oh, Sapphire Swift. Oh, it's on the back. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do a bit of white. And this color, um, I this is a custom purple. Um, I mix it myself, and I shared a picture of it on Facebook, and it got tons and tons and tons of responses. And everyone was asking, uh, what I was going to be using that color for. Well, this is it. So. forgot one other thing I want to do this is going off the side but that's okay because I'm going to tilt it anyway um I want to layer some paints in a cup and then pour it out I almost forgot that step and I'm really glad I didn't fully forget um the reason why I wanted to do that uh I'm not well actually I'm not going to layer them I'm going to um just dirty pour them into a cup so that they can mix a little bit and then pour that out because why is an indigo in that one? Um, that way it will, these won't just be solid lines of color. Um, it can have some like striations. So let's see what color do I want to start with. I want to start with like my main color, which is this blue. And I just want to put like a little bit at a time. And I'll do silver. Purple, that's amazing. Mm. 
and I'm pouring it, I'm starting to pour it up from up high that way I can mix a little bit. Okay, so I was a little disappointed after that first tilt. And so what I'm doing is I'm just taking the same colors I used before and kind of going back over the lines to redefine them because that white kind of took over. Um, I had a lot of waviness going on and it gets even worse, honestly, here in a second. Um, but I'm making sure to uh, also go over some lines again with dirty cups to make sure I still have some striations throughout it. Now, you, you, like I said, the, just now you see how the lines got even wavier in the middle and I don't like that. But it's not looking great now at all, <laughs> but it actually gets a lot better. So trust me and, and stick with this until the end because you'll be probably just as amazed as I was. All right, so now what I am adding to the painting is there's some kind of resin inclusions. However, uh, instead, since I'm not using any resin in this um, whatsoever, I just put them directly on the wet paint itself. And that will help them adhere to the painting. Same with the um, crushed glass. I'm just putting it directly on the freshly wet paint. Um, I also decided to add some um, glitter, which I will do in it here in a minute. Um, this right now is just the regular clear and silver crushed glass. And I'm making sure to after I pour them to kind of pat them down um, into the paint a little bit. Uh, now here is some uh, black glitter. Oh, it's more like a charcoal color. It's not solid black. And then that is some white glitter. And here is some blue glitter. And I'm, uh, I'll do the same with the glitter as I did with the resin inclusions and the crushed glass is I kind of pat them down into the paint and it's it's very important to do so and that there was just some more resin inclusions that some more crushed glass so I'm going through and just patting them down Here's some more of those inclusions. And then what I'm doing now is I'm taking some of that unicorn spit wood gel stain and um, putting lines of it directly uh, from the bottle. Now, this isn't the finished product. This is just um, how it looked after this um, step or after you know this this first phase but it turns out quite a bit different from this but I made sure to do a close-up 
of this part um, that way you could just see um, you know step-by-step -step progression now um, I let it dry for about four days and then I added some off-camera embellishments to it I apologize that it was off-camera but I didn't plan on doing it it was just kind of on a whim um, after I saw how it looked after it was dry um, I lost a lot of the black and I did not like that and so I went through with a black paint marker and I redefined some of the black lines and I also uh, did some light blue and dark blue in some places as well it is fully dry um, what I'm going to do next is there are obviously still some uh, loose pieces of the like the glitter and the crushed glass and, st and, and stuff and so what I'm gonna do is I've got Liquitex high gloss varnish Never wants to focus. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is pour some in a cup. It's not watered down at all. Um, I'm going to take a big, I don't want to pour it directly over it because I'm afraid that it'll lose some of its shine if I do that. And so what I'm going to do is just to help kind of lock the loose pieces in place. Um, take a stir stick and just kind of drizzle the varnish over it and hopefully it'll have it'll make it stay similar to uh if i was using resin so this experiment it's my first time so we'll see how it goes All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking that high gloss varnish and filling in the rest of the spaces in between um, all the things that are adding texture to it to make sure that the rest of the piece gets varnished as well. So, and I'm using my hand or my finger to um, help spread it around since that's really the only way to um, do it with all that, um, those textured pieces getting in the way. Um, but it worked really, really um, effectively. Now, this may sound kind of weird, but at this point, it still kind of lacked um, life, so to speak. And what I mean by that is I really wanted that crushed glass to kind of have a twinkle to it, and it did not. So what I did to remedy that was I added this special polyester glitter, which is actually like pretty dusty, um, and put it over... Um, pretty much everything that had texture and then by itself in the bottom left corner there and it really made all the difference and I love the way that it made it look in the end which you'll see that now um, from like the flash of my camera it gave it so much life and it just it's so twinkly now and that's what I really really really, really wanted and it stuck to that wet um, high gloss varnish that was um, already on it very very well and I didn't even need to put more varnish over the glitter um, I got the glitter from Michaels if anybody is interested it was in the section by like the uh, stationary type stuff but this is the um, final and dried result and I recorded this also outside to make sure that the lighting was the most accurate and the colors were true to color. So please let me know what you think. This was really fun. Thanks for watching.